escape. Oh my gracious. Fancy doing. <laughs> I'm so glad the fence was there. Although I did think it was going to go and explode because it's, it's very rotten. But anyhow, uh, new sprinklers. Let's have a look what they do. When I can find where I've put them. I've set it over there. <laughs> so I've set it by here comes with a spike that goes into the ground and um, let's see how far it reaches and then I'll know where to put it for whatever crops that I need water in. On goes the tap. job of water in the path but I don't particularly want the path water in so maybe I should move it up this way a bit yes isn't that lovely oh. my deal is uh, forming flower heads that's good the lettuce is coming lovely I have harvested several times off the lettuce Got a good reach there.
maybe if I turn the water down, I'll get it where I want it. That should decrease it. Yeah, so if you turn the tab up, it decreases the length of the flow. And then if you turn it up, you get a wider flow. In any case, the beans needed watering. Hello and welcome to Not Just About Ducks with me, Angela. And today I'd like to show you how to preserve eggs. It's really very easy. Um, sometimes, in, in these times, which is really difficult, um, egg supplies are in short supply, literally short supply. But if you manage to get hold and you're not going to use them all, at, you know, within a matter of days or before the expiry date, this is an easy way, a very safe way to preserve them for use in the future. So all you do is, to preserve your eggs, what you need to do is take a clean jug. There are several different ways to do it. You can either make a solution of lime and water. It's, um, I, I forget the actual mix, but you can preserve them in lime and water if you wish. You just mix your lime and water solution up it is a specific lime um, and what you do then is you put your eggs cleaned eggs in a vessel and then you just place the eggs in the vessel with with the water and the, and the lime and they will keep there i believe it's up to two years but this way is a lot easier you don't need a, a lime and you don't need a lot of storage place uh, space. You will need a jug or a vessel of sorts and your eggs. So here I've got my duck eggs. I've got a couple of trays of them so I thought I would preserve some in the amounts that I need to use them. So you crack your eggs. So you crack your eggs into a vessel in the quantity that you were going to use. So it can be whatever you want. If you have one poached egg in the morning, do them in ones. If you have two, do them in twos. Yeah, for baking, with your sponges and that, you can put them in half a dozen, whatever you use. So I'm going to pack some in sixes, twos. Um, sometimes I bake uh, a six or a seven 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 sponge I'll do that with you again so I've got so there's seven nice eggs in there no six yeah six nice eggs Then you take a freeze bag, very technical. You pour your eggs in and you, you seal it and there you have it. And then you just pop this into the freezer Pop those into the freezer flat. Um, they'll freeze and then you can use them as you want. So I'll just do another lot. So here's my bag. So I will put half a dozen eggs in the jug.
That's four. Oops. Bit of shell. I have washed these eggs. Five and one. Is six. So. You just pour them into the bag, remove the air as much as you can, and there you go, there's another bag of eggs. Well, an easy fix for separating eggs, you know sometimes you want to separate eggs and you get sort of the yolk in the white or and, and stuff like that. So this is an easy way to separate them. So the yolk comes away from the white a, a bit easier. So you take your egg and you give it a shake. It doesn't have to be a vigorous shake, just a little shake. And then you crack the shake. Crack the egg. There, I didn't shake it enough. So then you put your yolks in there and your white goes there. Again, if you, oh, I didn't shake. Let's do it without shaking. So, yeah, you see the egg, the yolk, uh, the white is quite sticky with an unshaken. Put the white, the yolk in there. Give it a good shake. Let's try again. There. It's a lot easier when you shake the eggs. And so I've done four. So I'll do another two. And then I'll have a bag of egg whites. And a bag of yolks. And sometimes recipes call for egg whites. I'm making a pig's ear of this. Yeah, that's a much better one, isn't it? Now I'm going to show you how to poach an egg. There's a lot of speculation on uh, how to poach the perfect egg. Um, some add vinegar, some say you've got to swirl the water, some poach them in the microwave. But this is by far the easiest method that I have found. Uh, so what you do is you place a pan of water on the stove and bring it to, to a boil. So the water is coming up to the boil now 
you don't have to have it in a rolling boil you just want it to get up to the boil because you won't put your eggs in the boiling hot water because that's when they all fluff up and go everywhere you know and they all balloon up and stuff like that so there it is so into this I will add you don't have to and into this I'll just add a little salt a little sprinkle I use the pink Himalayan it's not a full rolling boil but it is uh, you know it is a boil and then I turn it down then I take my eggs um, and uh, sorry I'm trying to do it and then I pop one in and put another one in so it just goes off the boil slightly so I am now I've just turned the gas up a wee bit to bring the temperature up again quickly in the water but I don't want it to boil because if it boils if it boils then the white will break and you'll end up with a very bitty yolk and they say the vinegar keeps it together but I, I don't think it does it's all to do with the temperature of the water and how many uh, bubbles so what you're aiming to do is you're aiming to get the white set um, I'll give it a little shake you see that then they're, they're nice and set now they're not stuck to the bottom and then you just cook them as you like them then so you can have them uh, soft boiled or hard boiled or poached rather um, my children, my sons and myself, we like them so that the white is cooked but we like the yolks not to be, we like them dippy you can see that egg there is cooked they're both cooked a little bit more of the white there to do I think make ready a clean plate with some I've got muslin on this I only use these muslins for for cooking purposes and then what you do is I, I haven't got any kitchen towels so you take the eggs out of the uh, turn the water off you take the eggs out of the pan and you put them on the muslin cloth or tissue or whatever napkin or whatever it is you're using and there you go and you leave them dry a bit and then you turn over and there you have it Oops. excuse fingers Two dippy eggs, hopefully. Let's have a look. Little sprinkle of salt. And I hope we get this. Beautiful. Nice, perfectly cooked poached eggs. Easy peasy. Just hot water and a bit of salt. No vinegar, no rolling boils, nothing. Easy peasy. Now, after doing all the things I just did with the eggs, I have an amount of eggshells here. What do I do with them? The best thing to do with your eggshells is you can either feed them back to your birds, uh, you can just, if you keep ducks that is, um, you can dry them off, crunch them up, 
and uh, give them to the birds. The, the birds will eat them. Uh, it, it's a good form of calcium. But also, if you you can grind them up, dry them, grind them up, and use them in your your vegetable beds, your tomato beds, your you can go grind them. You can just crush them, whatever. In any types of gardening beds, they're good. They're also a slug deterrent, so you can break the the shells up and put them around your tender plants, your, your lettuces or the things that slugs enjoy. And because they're quite sharp, the you know the the slugs won't like to go over them, and so they steer clear. So it's a bit of a organic self-defense for lettuces if you will um, what else can you do with them obviously you can put them in the compost heap uh, yeah you, there's lots of uses you can put them in your green bin but the best use of all is to use them in your garden because plants will absorb the calcium on the eggshells <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.